So I did this look and it's like a summery look. I was using a bit of pink so I thought it would be nice for a day look to add a bit of colour into a nice day look. So to start off with, the foundation I'm going to use is MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I use the shade NC15 and I'm just going to take three pumps of that on the back of my hand and then with a buffing brush I'm going to start buffing that into the skin. And then with the anyway eyebrow pencil in the colour blonde, I'm just going to start filling in my eyebrows and I'm just following the natural shape of my brow, just making them a bit more thicker and defined. To prime for eyeshadow, I'm using Paisley Paint Pot by MAC. This is just a skin colour base which will stop the eyeshadow creasing. And then I'm going to apply another base with NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. This is a white base which will make colours appear more vibrant. So with Vanilla by MAC, I'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone as it's not as shimmery as the next eyeshadow, which is this one by ELF, and I'm going to apply that on the inner third of the eyelid. On the second third of the eyelid, I'm going to apply this gold eyeshadow from ELF, and just pack that on so it's nice and dense. And then on the outer third of the eyelid, I'm going to take this nice pinky colour, but you could use any eyeshadow you want, you could use like a purple or a turquoise. But I really like the combination of pink and gold. And then with Texture by MAC, I'm just going to swirl that through the crease for a bit of definition and to use as a transition colour because I'm going to apply a dark brown to the crease in a minute. So with a nice detailed brush, I'm going to take Espresso by MAC, start working that into the crease and then I'm going to join it down to the outer corner so it creates a sideways V look and this will just add a bit of definition and also make the look a bit more dramatic so really precise through the crease making sure it's nice and soft though and to use a slight amount of product at a time otherwise you might end up putting too much and it'll be harder to blend out and look a bit too overpowering and just keep swapping between applying the product and using the brush to blend and then I'm going to apply a line of liquid eyeliner, this is the even more glamised one. And I'm doing it kind of medium thickness and I'm going to wing it out at the outer corner and I'm going to line the wing up with the edge of the brown eyeshadow, just so it matches. I'm just going to go in and apply some under eye concealer. And I apply quite a lot, so I'm starting off with Boing by Benefit and just patting that underneath the eyes of my ring finger. And then over the top of that, I take, I'm taking a bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm in the shade 15. And I'm just going to put that on top to lighten it. And I'm just going to set my face with a powder, and then in the centre of the face, I'm just going to use a slightly loud, lighter powder just so it highlights the centre of my face. Going back in the light eyeshadow, I'm going to take that through the tear duct and then I'm taking the gold and the pink and the brown and applying them kind of in the same shape as the upper lash line so they match up. Then I'm applying the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk on my waterline and adding a bit of my Colossal Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. The lashes I'm using are these Girls Alive Sarah lashes and I'm just going to place them down with some tweezers and tuck in the edges. If you didn't want to use lashes you could just use mascara and this would be a nice natural look. I'm going to do a really slight amount of contouring with my Benefit Huda Bronzer. Just to add a tiny bit of shape but not too much. And then a nice pink blush in this Barbara Dolly blush, this is called Petal. I'm just going to put that right on the apples of the cheeks for a nice girly summery glow. I'm adding a bit of a highlight just for a nice shimmer. And then I'm applying this Bare Lip Lipstick by Sleek. And 